Uh, hello. From my coaching experience, which is over 20 years now, I know that many players at various levels has trouble playing the games. I've been asked by professionals, amateurs, children, coaches, how to play on PECT. Listen, it's not that simple, but it's not that hard either. The game on the PEG simply has to be at the beginning. Education, like in school, we learn letters to write later. The same with playing pips, we must first learn some rules and understand how, what's it all about. And my name is Karol Diskiewicz, and I'm a former professional player, been a coach with international and national experience for over 17 years. I learned to play pins many years ago, but not recently. The last five years up close at the world-class level, I've been to the biggest tournaments in the world where I watched female players from China, Korea, from various nations and nationalities, playing with the Pippen players. I've learned a lot from there. I've learned a lot and I'd like to share it with you as a profession. I had contact with such players and during the games, I was even called the professor of greener pips. I knew the rules, I knew how the peg reacts, and nothing could surprise me. Now take a look, what are the basic rules of Griner Chop's game, and how long the pip reverses the rotation. What is the most common mistake players make while playing on pips? Please. I'm going to reveal a secret to you now, which is uh, the most important thing in playing pips. Above all, we must remember that the pip reverses rotation. If we get some rotation, it returns the opposite. So if we are spinning the balls, the pimples return the top spin as underspin and vice versa. If we undercut the bottom, the pimples return us the top spin. Girls demonstrate. Uh, Are you okay? As you saw after one forward move, a cut is made for this reason that after this strike from the pin, the ball returns on the cut. And you shouldn't play topspin twice, because then it goes into the net. You should play topspin once, and the second time with undercut. If we play topspin twice, such a situation often occurs. Show it uh, as you saw. The second ball comes back undercut. So we need to remember that if we play the top rotation, né? that is if we hit the ball forward with top spin, we get a cut back. And we have to break through so as not to play into the net. The most important rule of the game on the peg is the fact that you have to remember that the peg reverses rotation. Now I will show you, Gabriela, how to attack the pimple and how to behave after the attack. This ball, which we will attack, please. Subtitles created by the Yamara Door community. Subtitles created by the Yamara Door community. Uh, as you saw, after the first attacked ball, the second ball was punctured. That's because if we attack, uh, from the pimple, we get the undercut ball. This is always the case with a long pimple. If we play the ball with a little rotation, we can't guarantee what we'll get. But if we play the ball with a lot of spin, that is, we twist it hard. The undercut ball will always come back to us, 100 out of 100. Show it again. Subtitles made by the Amar Draw community. Good. Uh, the same rule applies if we undercut the ball. If we undercut the ball, we get the top rotation back, that is from the pip. We get the top spin rotation back, cut the ball.
As you can see, this ball comes back after being undercut. The empty one with a slight top spin is no longer undercut. If Gabriela had undercut the second ball, see what would happen. Subtitles created by the Amardo community. Subtitles created by the Amardo community. That's how our ball will go up. We must remember if we have the ball from here, we give it with top spin. So the ball spins like this, the pin sets it and gives us bottom spin. So it turns it for us. And here comes the underspin ball. Similarly, uh, if we serve this way, the ball will spin towards the pin, meaning we are giving it underspin. Sharp setting will give us a slight rotation in the other direction. And that's kind of the key to a good game on chop because we have to remember that our move, it forces the pin to give us a specific rotation. We give rotation in this direction, we get bottom spin. We give bottom spin, we get top spin. Different than with smooth rubbers, the opposite. As you saw in those plays, a very common move among players with long pimples is... This is a forward shot from an undercut bill. And because that player undercuts, they get the lob. This is a very common move by players with a long pin. As they push the ball out based on this, the opponent doesn't attack just cuts upwards, gives a high one, and there's a smash, and then we lose a point. Subtitles created by the Amarador community. Subtitles created by the Amarador community. Remember one very important thing. When playing along pimples, if we see such a move, it won't always be an undercut ball. Very often it will be a top ball that needs to be attacked because the pin reverses the spin. This is very important because we should not lift these balls up. We have any rotation this way or that. That it the pin gives us the same thing back and we have a tough ball. So best to surf either with a flat surf, no spin, or with top spin, or with back spin. If we serve an empty, we get an empty from the bat. If we serve a bottom spin, we get a top one. If we serve a top one, we get a top one. We're getting the lower one, and we really always know what comes back from the spindle to us in reception. That is, serving these three. Rotation, we know what I have. Using side rotations, we no longer have this knowledge. And such a ball may return, which usually comes back. I have a slight long peg. It fluctuates, and then we have a tough ball in the first tempo. Maybe we'll demonstrate this now. Cheese in the empty. Subtitles created by the Amarador community. Subtitles created by the Amarador community. Well, now the cut rotation on the service, the top rotation comes back. So it's very, very much. And now the upper rotation. Okay, uh, playing on the long pin, serving. Uh, we need to know which one will come back. So before the service, I already know what's coming back. Because if I play an empty one, an empty one will come back. If I play a cut one, an upper one will come back. I'll play a top spin, it'll come back chopped. You just have to learn this, remember. And before the service, I already know what kind of ball will return to me. If I will play side rotations in that direction, then I don't have a guarantee what will come back. With these three simple tips, I always know what ball I'll get back from the long pin. And I have an easier one in the first tempo. Now we will show you what kind of service 
shop doesn't like to receive much. We showed earlier, after which service an easy ball returns, and now we'll show what pin service doesn't like, and very often is directly point. It's all about the long side cut server. Very important that it's long. The difficulty is that long pins on reception with a large bottom side rotation, they behave differently. Once the ball will jump out of the pin more, once less. And it's hard for a long pin player. Check this ball, please. Ishaku, huh? you're welcome. Subtitles created by the Amara.org community. Subtitles created by the Amara.org community. They say, hey, Dash, look now uh, that long plug. Uh, if it doesn't get rotation, it can't do us much harm. Pace. Players playing with the long plug lever. And they are dangerous thanks to our rotation, getting empty balls. Short ones can't really score from this cork. So if we don't have a certain attack, if we don't feel confident in top spin strokes, and on the other hand, long pips do not attack, they just keep the ball on the table. We should give straight empty balls and choose the right one and then finish it. Subtitles created by the Amara Dog community. See how it's worth it. Play actions on the chop. Empty service, long chop returns us empty. We play the finishing stroke. Uh, of course, this requires the ability to strike. Uh, empty service, an empty return and finishing ball. Empty service, an empty ball. Other version is the undercut service and the high ball returns to us and we play top spin. Sharp service, upper reception and top spin. How to score a point serving the upper service? See, the top service, we get a cut puncture. And then we get an empty top rotation and we finish. Thanks for watching. And this is just uh, very good tactics for a long pimple. When surfing, the, the pimple can't do much to us. We know what we get. Two balls and we finish the action. I have nothing against Pipsau players. I think it's an interesting and attractive game, but unfortunately, after this movie, they may feel threatened. Wrapping up our training, I will now reveal to you the greatest secret, how quickly learn this and be able to play on the long chop forever. It's a simple thing. Learn this by heart and only then go to the training room. I guarantee you, you will always be able to play the long pimple.